Another uh, metaphor that I really like is the lamp slash flashlight metaphor. And this has to do with juxtaposing open field awareness, being aware of whatever arises versus closed pointed focused concentration, which again, that can be very powerful too, but it's a slightly different intention than mindfulness. So imagine you're in a dark room, you're seeing mostly a black screen right now. Imagine you're in a dark room and you have a flashlight. What happens if you take that flashlight, turn it on and point it at the wall? Something like this will happen, right? You will see a dot or a circle on the wall. It will not illuminate the whole room. It will just illuminate the circumference of that circle on the wall. That's what concentration is. That's what focus is. That's being what we like to call in the mindfulness in the meditation world, single pointed awareness. Your mind is right here in the present moment. Your mind is on one thing and one thing only. And whenever, it, whenever the mind wanders, you bring it right back as fast as you can. That single pointed awareness, that's concentration, right? It's also not the intention of what um, mindfulness is. When you're practicing mindfulness meditation, there's a lot of conflation between the two, understandable, understandably so. I'll talk about that in a moment. But what we're trying to do is have an open field of awareness so that we can be aware of whatever arises in our experience so we have the opportunity to practice equanimity. That would be like if you're in a dark room or on the street and there's a lamp. And that lamp, what does the lamp do? It illuminates the street or illuminates that whole room. I noticed that there's a carpet on the floor. Or there's a garbage can in the corner. There's a painting over here. There's a window over there. I noticed the color of the room, right? Those sorts of things. So that's what we're trying to do when we practice mindfulness. 